lange way the days here. The lathe and the uh, the mill film. The lathe and the mill have arrived. Da da da. -da. What is it, Leland? And which one's which? Good boy. Start the rain. Go bring the mill and the lathe in for me. Go, go, go. Don't drop it. Move it. Come on. Show your gun. Oh, yeah. All right. Don't damage your back. There Animals, what animals? Fox and toads. Oh, gee, that's a weird animal. So these are, as we've spoken about four, the Sieg SC3, and the mill was the, I think it was like the SC2 or the SX2, something along those lines. But I am um, finding it hard to remember. But oh, SX2PMT3. So I don't, anyway, I think it's like the longer bed and so on and so forth. But it's the newer model, the brushless motor one. So here we go. You ready to help, dude? Yeah. Yeah, you gonna open? It is a little smaller than I was expecting it to be, but that's all good. So the bed on this one has, from memory, a 450 centre to centre, so much bigger than anything I'm going to need to be turning. Uh, obviously it'll only turn sort of lighter stuff, but it's, it's nicely packed in sort of like a packing grease so that it's not going to rot. So I'll clean all that up a little bit, see where we go from there. So this is all the stuff I bought the option on eBay that had the, the SC3 high torque lathe, 500 watt brushless motor, variable speed, starter pack. So it comes with several, they're not free, extras that you essentially are paying for because you can buy the lathe for less than this. But um, I didn't buy the eBay version for 1200 and whatever, I got a bargain via contacting Aussie uh, themselves which are the suppliers of this stuff so all right so these are the bits that I got extra on top of the uh, these what you get with it this is the uh, starter pack sort of extras that come with it so you get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 
different cutters of all different uh, types as I'm not a machinist and I have only turned very few things I'm not going to pretend to know what all of these are but I'm sure I'll learn over time they don't look like the world's best cutting gear but at the same time I don't think it's going to be a problem for cutting things like aluminium and brass and copper etc tiny little parting tool this is one of those um, times when photos make it look bigger than it is I don't know why I was expecting it to be any bigger but this is the tiniest little parting tool I think I've ever seen yet uh, four center drills of different varying sizes a tail stock chuck so 13 mil tail stock chuck it's ah, it's a little bit it's not rough but it's you can tell it's cheap but it'll do the job uh, with the chuck key obviously um, that's that and you also get this drill bit set now this drill bit look I don't know what they're worth I don't know if they're actually any good I will find out but they have everything what it looks like from one mil right up to six mil in increments of 0.1 of a millimeter so that's a lot of drill bits uh, hopefully they're not too nasty because once you break a few of these you lose your rag and I'll just bin the whole lot but if they're any good that will be a real bit of a blessing actually having multiple different sizes like each millimeter increment I think that's all we got with the extras this is the tools that come free with the lathe when you buy it so obviously these are the feet and the bolts for the feet you got the tail stock sort of spin knob thingy there uh, the tail wheel uh, I don't know what that one's off clearly off something else I'll find that quite soon you get a dead center which is nice you get a live center which is nice doesn't I don't feel like the world's best live center but it's also free with the chuck with the lathe so I'm sure it'll do exactly what I need it to do though couple of spanners which actually seem like quite a nice like drop forged they don't feel like a tick spanner actually they're, they're very smooth there's no rough castings you don't get in fact they're very good they feel probably the best tool in the in the kit and I love black tools so it's a little crazy but they're awesome I like them you also get uh, three extra chuck jaws the three jaw chuck jaw which is These ones are for these ones are for uh, external clamping. So they've got I think that's what well I know what they're for, but I think that's how you terminology it. They're slightly convex here on the on the teeth where they clamp, so they clamp on around things in the outside diameter of stuff. Whereas the other ones that are on there are, can do that too, but also they have a radius that way convex for the um, so that's concave and they're convex for the for uh, clamping on the inside of stuff you get your chuck key which is these nice sort of not only we won't lose it because it's red but it has these nice sort of uh, soft sort of handles um, allen keys well it's all the allen keys they actually want you to have is three four five and six clearly they, they can't give you a couple <laughs> extra free but they seem okay the world's cheapest oil bottle but uh, it's unlikely it's ever going to get used so it's not too big a deal you right there boy yeah <laughs> found yourself a bathtub yeah so this is the lot that comes with it and this is the this is the lot that comes with the uh the the extra um upgrade set like the starter set <laughs>
you may have asked yourself, why the heck is he just turning resin on this thing? It's made for metal and so on and so forth. It's not the biggest lathe in the world, but mainly what I do is I turn resins. I'm a knife maker and I make resin handles and stabilize things and whatnot. But I will be turning some steel on it. I will be turning some copper and that sort of stuff on it. I'll get that done soon and I will be uploading some more pictures as, or videos as I do it. But highly impressed. Beautiful, beautiful uh, ability to change the speed and that sort of thing. And it really, really is very smooth. A couple of adjustments I had to make. Uh, I also bought a forge or chuck and I will be uh, putting a video up soon of that on how to, to change to the forge or chuck. Um, just in case people are a little confused. I also will be doing a video soon on changing uh, the tailstock position side to side or forward to backwards so that you can actually do tapered uh, grind, uh, tapered um, turns, which took me a little while to work out. It's a bit, it's a bit, uh, well, I wouldn't say bad at designed. It's, it's almost like it's an afterthought the way you do it. You kind of got to strip the tailstock down to do that, which seems a little annoying and annoying, crazy, which obviously I never had to do with my last lathe. But at the same time, for its price, it's exceptional. Really, really happy with it. Uh, stick in for next week. I will be uh, reviewing the mill um, that I bought, bought from Sieg, from Sieg as well. So like I said, I got these from uh, www.ozzy, which is A-U-S-E-E -E, uh, com. And they are pretty much, I think they're the only suppliers of Sieg in Australia. So if you're buying a Sieg off uh, eBay, you're probably buying it off them. So you have got eBay protection and all that sort of thing, but it's probably worth you shooting them an email, going to the website, shoot them an email. I found that they were pretty good. They discounted the eBay fees, so it made it cheaper and then gave me a little bit more. So um, go over and have a chat with them. Tell them Toby sent you from Toby Fire and Steel. Um, I don't get anything out of it, but it'd be nice if... They knew that I was uh, sending people their way. They're not the quickest people to reply to emails in the world, which is a little frustrating, but they will look after you uh, with price. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions about the SIEG, feel free to ask them. I'll answer it. Um, if you saw me do anything stupid that I didn't obviously know what I was doing, please let me know and I will uh, learn something from it too. Appreciate it very much. Have a great week. Uh, if you want to support my channel or my podcast, Go over to my YouTube, uh, my uh, website, which is www.tobyfireandsteel.com, and we've got the uh, pre-orders on the hoodies and the t-shirts, which are very, very cool design, had made by a good friend of mine, Andrew Smith, and they'll be coming very, very soon. Thank you very much. Hooroo.